What's going on YouTube? Collectors Bank here. I just wanted to uh, do a video on tools, craft, like tools for our craft or um, you know things that you're going to need if you're going to start doing this as a hobby. Um, I know some people do it as a job, but this is this is my hobby. I have a real job. Uh, we'll talk about in-person autos as well. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys some stuff that I thought I, I went through my safe and I kind of pulled out some things. I didn't realize I had them, but um, I used to bartend when I was in college, and I got to meet Philip Rivers the night that he was drafted. He sat at my table, and I waited on him, and he saw, I literally had nothing, so I went and grabbed some receipt paper. As you can see, it's torn there, and he gave me a sweet cig. Um, another time I was there at the restaurant, Priest Holmes came in and hooked it up with a great auto as well. Um, used to have all kinds of crazy people come through the restaurant uh, at the airport when I worked there and I was able to get you know uh, autos from all of them so some things that that we need to talk about are just what do you need to to you know what do I get this I get the question all the time hey what are you getting your stuff signed with what is it called blah 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 right so the trusty go-to for any item is the blue sharpie all right, guys, it's it's the best thing that you can have. Um, now, different items require different things, i.e. the paint pen, right? I'm about to mail um, a basketball out. So I'm going to have it signed here, hopefully, on this panel above this balding. So I will rotate it out, and I'll have it signed in this paint pen. Um, it's just a silver deco paint pen, guys. Uh, you have to get this at... Uh, uh, you can't get them at Hobby Lobby anymore. You have to get them at a. Um, I got these at an art supply store, but you can get them at. Um, you can get them on the internet and things like that. But it's just a Silver Deco. I believe this one is broad. Um, and I also have. I have a gold one that I've used for photos. Um, that that I like. If I'm doing baseball, a big round stick. Literally, this is what I use to get baseball signed. Here's a George Brett. A Bic, guys. That's all that's all you need is a Bic. Um, now I've got guys that say they use Bic Crystal, whatever. Just test it out and see if it works. You wanna make sure that it gets a great line. If it's been used a lot, throw it away and go get another one. They're like super cheap. So this is my go-to if I'm doing autos at the ballpark or something like that. I always have a big pen on me. If I'm doing cards, a Stadler. Uh, these are really expensive. So if you're gonna mail, I don't mail. If I'm gonna mail something to somebody, it's gonna be a blue Sharpie. But if I'm doing an in-person thing, if I'm at the ballpark, whatever, I'm using a Stadler. Uh, pretty fantastic. Um, But that's this is my go-to for for cards. About to mail a mini helmet as well. So Steelers with a silver sharpie. It'll go like this inside of a box. Uh, I don't want to tell you guys who I'm sending them to, but if I get them back, I'll let you know um, how it works out. So tonight I'll prep this pen. I have a, I have letters already ready for it, and I'm going to go by the mailbox and drop them off. My mail place does it all for me, so I just have to tell them where to send it. They literally will print the labels for me and I don't have to do anything. Um, another thing that I always carry with me, if you guys buy cards, you know those, um, the dead, like the uh, the filler cards is what people call them. I carry these with me, so if I'm at the game and I have nothing, or if I'm out and about, I have these on me and I just have them sign it in a blue Sharpie. And then when I get back to the house, I go and I get my label maker and I put who it is. Because I'm never going to remember some of these guys. Uh, here's a Chris Young that I got at the ballpark. Uh, I didn't have any cards on me and I wasn't going to waste a ball in a Chris Young autograph or a Rick Waits autograph. So that's the way that I look at it is a ball cost me 15 bucks. A filler thing, I have stacks of them. So, you know, it cost me nothing and I have the auto. And if I want to, you can go have those slabs. So another thing that I that I pick up if I'm doing um, basketball players, um, you can go to your local Home Depot, and 
they've got these sample boards. I just went and picked one up. Dick Vitale was down by my office doing something for college basketball. I just ran by there to see if he would do it, and guess what? He signed it. So I thought it was pretty pretty cool. Uh, again, it cost me absolutely nothing. I just walked in there, grabbed a couple. I have them in my in my uh, closet, and I just grabbed them if I know I'm going to do some basketball players or something like that. Literally just a piece of piece of flooring. I thought I'd go through a couple cards that I had uh, about a Ralph Kiner, Eddie Matthews auto, Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger, Catfish Hunter, Billy Herman, and Bill Terry. So, uh, again, like I said, if, if I'm going in person, I despise going to get in-person autographs now. Going to the hotel, those types of things, it's not me. I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And I get really pissed if I'm standing out there, the guys walk by you, and they don't sign your stuff. Uh, there's nothing more uh, humbling than to sit out there uh, and have these guys walk by you and they don't sign your stuff. Um, so it's just not something that I enjoy. I've done it and I, I won't ever do it again. It's just, again, it's not my thing. Uh, the only time I go get in-person autos now is if the uh, caravan's coming through the um, coming through my area, I'll maybe go to that. But even then, I really don't want to stand there for seven hours to get an autograph. Uh, when we go to the ballpark, live in Texas, it's super hot. The idea of standing out there um, and, and getting some autos, it's not again it's not my thing anymore either um, if I go with my kids I'll, I'll, I'll go we'll go and we'll, we'll do it but on my own when I go to the game with some buddies or something like that it's just not something that I that I enjoy anymore uh, it's, it's not fun uh, for me I would rather um, pay for the auto or try to get it at a show or something like that now again that's me everybody's different um, you know I just say try it see if you like it if you don't then you know you know but it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's not something that I enjoy. Um, there's Again, there's nothing like standing there and watching the guys get off the bus and then walk right by you like you're worthless. Um, especially when you're the only person there. They walk right by you and don't say anything. And it's, it's just, again, it's very humbling. It's not the way that I enjoy doing it. I'd rather have a good experience and be sour about it. Uh, there so and at the game it's super fun to get you know if you can get somebody good I got Cano on a baseball um, you know so there are opportunities where you do get some cool things uh, at the game is usually where I usually like to do it if I'm gonna do it but again guys simple things blue sharpie big pen a Stadler and a paint pen these are pretty much the tools that you need to survive in this hobby that's it now again different pens for different people that that's your preference of whatever you like i know what i like i know what i use um and and that's just the way that i that i've done it for so long so i just want to say thank you guys it's been i've been enjoying this making these videos for you guys if you have more questions leave them in the comments down below please like and subscribe and, and have a great